Hi again, everybody. Mike Moyers along with my friend Gordon Forbes from John Wood Community College, and welcome to Quincy Journal TV. Gordon Forbes, the new outreach, uh, workforce outreach coordinator for JWCC. We could do two hours on what you've done with your life, with with everything. But I see this new position kind of like a kind of like a give back to the community type of thing. Well, you know, I, I'm enjoying it for that reason. It's um, I retired and couldn't stand retirement, and John Wood gave me the opportunity to come here and and uh, work on manufacturing and business uh, development uh, for the community. You know, I, you know, under our new president, Mike. LB, we are, he's really taken a very proactive approach to reaching out and providing that services and the continued education for the community and for, his, for the traditional students that he has. Uh, so I, I really enjoy this opportunity. You know, Gordon, talking about the workforce outreach, basically what we're talking about with John Wood is you're creating programs and opportunities to where your young people can leave John Wood, take those next two years, or go right into the workforce and, and have some hands-on stuff. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, I'm, I'm really working more with with uh, with uh, uh, non-traditional student, a, a student who's not necessarily going from from a two-year school to a four-year school. But people, you know, Quincy has Quincy is very fortunate right now. Our manufacturers are pretty healthy, but there's a lot of work. But there's a lot of people retiring in the next few years because they're baby boomers. Right. We have a challenge to get to enough quality workers into the head of household incomes. Uh, John Wood made a major investment in that workforce center out mm -hmm. there. Uh, they've made a major invest investment in having the right type of instructors and the right type of equipment. Uh, so, you know, my focus has been on the workforce center. Now it's going to be throughout the community, all businesses throughout the, the community. Uh, and the community is much better off because of the efforts of John Wood. And frankly, the manufacturers are supporting it 100%. There's a big event coming up on May 7th. We'll be back to talk more with Gordon Forbes, the Workforce Outreach Coordinator of JWCC, after this one from John Wood Community College. But that, you never went to college. And that hit me right in the heart. Taking classes at John Wood has advanced my career. Manufacturing has given me a great quality of life. And then the boys turn around and say, Papa, did you make that? I didn't make that, but I was part of that. My name is David Del Castillo. I have attended John Wood Community College, and I am living the American dream. Back on QJTV, I'm Mike Moyers along with Gordon Forbes. And on May 7th, you've got a wonderful full day event coming up. Talk about it. We, uh, one of the things that we found out this past year and talking with manufacturers, one area that the city is missing is really good sales training. Right. Uh, one of our local businesses asked us to help them put together a sales training program, and we did. But what we've done is build a complete menu of sales training. On May 7th, we have a national, highly qualified, maybe the best in the country, training company coming to Quincy to give two seminars. The Chet Holmes International Institute is coming, and at that time we will introduce a full training program, which they will be part of. At, at noon, we were going we're to have a lunch and learn, which we started last year, which we're inviting all management of companies and, and their sales training teams to come in and experience what management experience when they go to national conventions and hear top speakers. Uh, Chet Holmes uh, was a partner with um, Tony, Tony Robbins, Robbins, yeah. Tony Robbins and, for years. And, and doing so, when, when they gave some, they would give three or four day seminars, they could demand five to $6,000 a seat. Right. Uh, that's the quality, that's the level that, that this company's at, and their training will be at. You know, so many times we have this type of individual or this group that will come to the community and you go, ah, I've got other things to do that day, but this is something that's important. I mean, if you're an employer or you're in business for yourself, whatever the case is, if you're not there, your, your competition might be, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I, I think this training, Chet Holmes has, has a record of really turning companies around and getting major sales increases within the companies. I think it's important enough that if, if, if that evening, by the way, we're also having another very low cost seminar, I think it would be $12 a ticket at the Mary Auditorium, 
for anyone in sales or service to come to. I think that that anyone who chooses not to come better hope their competition doesn't come. I right. think they're going to be at a competitive disadvantage if they don't. Quincy hasn't seen this level and this quality of a systematic training program ever before. Right? We're using this to introduce you know, a continuing program and using their Chet, Chet Home Masteries um, Institute. Not only is the program great, but the facilities are great too, and you'll sure enjoy it. Uh, for more information, you can call 217-641-4971 for the cost and to register and get your people signed up. There's two particular sessions on that given day. On the 7th, they've got an 11.30 to 2 p.m. lunch and learn. That's not learn to lunch, that's lunch and learn at uh, John Wood and then from 6 to 8 in the JDWCC Auditorium again. So looks like a great day and that's coming up. That'll be here before you know it, right? It sure will be. And, and uh, again, we need a big turnout on this because we're taking, honestly, a pretty good risk of bringing someone of this quality and this cost. Gordon Forbes, we appreciate you being with us today. Mike, thank you for your time. Good to see you, uh -huh. man. Gordon Forbes, the Workforce Outreach Coordinator of John Wood Community College here on QJTV.